Well, welcome back. It's time for Sunday brunch and joining us this morning is the owner of the local oyster and judge on very locals played it. We have Nick Shaman. Good morning. Thanks for being here. Hi, ladies. How are hey, you today? We're doing to see awesome. You. You've got oysters here. You have been on the show. You've got a lot going on. Uh, a lot going on. <laughs> uh, it's, it's been a wild couple months to say the least, but uh, yeah, we're having fun. And uh, the show came out, uh, what, a couple weeks ago? Mm -hmm. And we've got the next last two episodes are coming out this week. So we're really excited about it. Yeah, if people aren't familiar with it, describe the show. Okay, it's on Very Local. It's called, what's it called? Played Played it. it. Played it. <laughs> I know, right? The judge. He's got a lot of his mind this morning. Uh, this was hard. I mean, uh, <laughs> so the show, we had uh, eight episodes, two local chefs. Um, each of them had 45 minutes to complete a three-course meal. I just put this together in 40 minutes, and I'm sweating my, you know what? Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. You're being all. Yeah, so it's not easy. <laughs> yeah. So um, you can download it on Very Local. Um, our friend Chino, uh, the Baltimore Foodie. was here Foodie, earlier, yes. yeah, He was here today. Yeah. Um, he's the host, and I'm one of the judges with Jessica Formicola. Yep, we and, had her on uh, last week. <laughs> yeah, so um, tune in. It's, uh, it's a great watch. I mean, it's fun. It's silly. Uh, I fix a lot of broken equipment, so that's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Nice. Well, and Definitely. you don't do that with what you got there, right, uh, on your on your apron. But a man who carries his own oyster shucker is serious. In his apron, yeah. And we had your partner here from yeah. Chesapeake last week. Yes, you're here from the local oyster. Tell us about the oysters. Okay, so uh, what we got going on here today? We've got uh, some fresh skinny dipper oysters from our farm in Southern Maryland. Okay. Uh, True Chesapeake. That's also the name of our flagship restaurant. True Chesapeake, right down the hill here in Hamden. Uh, we have two local oyster locations. And we saw some of the amazing dishes that you guys cook up there last week. Yeah. Pretty incredible. So what's the best way to shuck an oyster? Carefully. I like that. <laughs> Safety. It's Safety all, it's all about first. having the right tools, you know. Okay. Um, you want to be safe. Uh, you know, I wanted, wanted to bring these out to show everyone that you could do this at home. Um, all right, could, put that bad boy right there. Okay. Go ahead and all right. open it up. So you want to go in the hinge here. Mm -hmm. Just give it a little pressure, a little pop, scrape along the top, and mm -hmm. there you have it. So All right. we're going to shuck these guys. Janine, the best way to shuck an oyster is to have someone else do it for you. I know, that's right. Yep. <laughs> that's my favorite way to do it. Well, when you do it a half million times, it's kind of... Yeah, you've kind got of, the rhythm down. Yeah, it kind of comes... Uh, it's like second nature. It's like tying your shoes. And listen, so. everybody likes their oysters different ways. Some people are just, they're always raw. Some people have to have them fried, and that's why we, you've got your fryer here, too. And I like mine, like, flame broiled. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. good, too. A little, mm, little healthier there. Charbroiled, yes, charbroiled. We, we do that at the local oyster, too. Yeah. Where are you guys located again? So um, our first, our original location is in the Mount Vernon Marketplace, mm -hmm. and our new local oyster is on Fort Avenue in Locust Point. Nice. And so, so you're going to bread these up. Yep, we're going to do it now. Okay. You want some gloves? You want to do it? Sure. Come on, Janine. Heck yeah, let's Wait. do it. <laughs> Reporter involvement. Anchor I love involvement. Love for you. Oh, yeah. She's going for it. Okay, so like oh, I said, you could do this at home. You can buy uh, skinny dippers at Whole Foods. Okay. Um, you could go to our website and check us out. So what we want to gotcha. do, nice big oyster. Yep. Little flour. Little flour. Mm -hmm. Little egg. Little panko. Yep. Boom. Because panko's crunchier than the other bread Panko farms. is nice crunchy. Light. It is. It's right in there. Oh, nice. 350 degrees. Okay. Uh, it should take about, I don't know, three, four minutes. You don't want to overcook them. Ooh, oh, Delana asked. Watch out. How it's, long do you leave these in here? Because it can be really easy to overcook seafood. Um, don't overcook your seafood. That's <laughs> <laughs> So like, are That's you just waiting for say. it to turn golden brown on the outside? Um, Is that how you know? No, you want to you want them to get golden brown. You mm -hmm. don't want it to uh, seize up too much. Okay. Same thing when you're charbroiling. Okay. The longer you leave it under that heat, the smaller that oyster is going to get. Right. So if you like them a little al, al dente, if you will, just hit them real quick. Okay. Um, if you want them a little. Let's do another one. Yeah, yeah. Do, go for it. So do the cool thing, while, while you're messing with the oysters, the cool thing about Plate It, though, is it's really giving people an idea of where they can eat around Baltimore, too, yeah. that they may not have gone to before. Right. And um, they actually get to sort of meet the chefs and sort of feel involved in the whole thing while this contest is going on. Yeah, I mean, uh, so 16 chefs, 16 restaurants. Yeah. You know, a lot of these places folks have never been to. Some of them are, you know, synonymous with Baltimore. Some of these guys are new. Um, you know, we've had some chefs from New Orleans and um, 
uh, uh, Colin is uh, from China, so oh, you know cool we concept. had all sorts of cuisine. Is that Colin from Water Song? Yes. Yeah, we've had him on the show before too. Cool really dude. nice guy. Yeah. He made the spiciest chicken I've ever tasted in my entire life. That's saying a lot too. It made yeah. me sweat more than I'm sweating right now. What's been one of your favorite moments on the show? Uh, my favorite moments on the show was eating all the food. I my mean, guy. It, I mean, that's sounds, why you signed up. It sounds kind of easy to uh, eat three courses a day for mm -hmm. eight days, but it's hard. That is a lot. Hey, I don't usually even eat that many meals in a day. How okay. are these bad boys doing? You want to pull them? Sure. So hit them are down. Are they ready? Yeah, sure. Okay. Look good to All right. me. Are we going to put them right here? Put them on the paper. On the paper to drain the oil. You're going to okay. let them drain a little bit. All right. Yeah. Maybe a meal you don't want to. We switch. Go ahead, chef. Switch. I'm switching. Day. Switch. All I'm not right, a chef. I'm a shucker. Shucker. That's okay. Ah, oh, shucks. Uh, <laughs> oh, every shucks. time, Jen. I right, had to do it. Had to do it. So you just hit them with a little mm -hmm. bit of salt. Mm -hmm. All right. Toss them. Mm -hmm. ah, we kind of get like this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, do it, do it up here so we can see. There you go. Boom. 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 Don't get burned, though. All right. Right in there. Nice. And there you have it. You got your and if people sauce come to there. the local oyster, they can get more than oysters. What are some of the other dishes you're known for? Oof. We have uh, we have roasted oysters, steamed shrimp, clams, hamburgers, fried chicken, um, you name it. Funnel cakes, ice cream sundaes. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. Oh, today's National Ice Cream Day too. It, it is. is. Yeah. 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 It really is. <laughs> right, you don't want ice cream on a day like today. Yeah. Probably want to stick with the comfort foods like the fried oysters. Here we are looking at a few rain showers today. 88 degrees will be our temperature. Tomorrow you'll want the ice cream though. We're looking at 92 as our high and sunny skies to enjoy. All, all right, right, Nick with the local oyster. Watch plated on Very Local. Thanks for joining us. That's all the time we have for Dow. NBC's Meet the Press is up next. Have a great day. Thank you.